vector operations. Let V equal negative 2, 5, and W equal 3, 4. That's V1, V2, and W1, W2, respectively. Find 2V. Well, the math is pretty simple. That's a scalar 2 times the vector V, which is negative 2, 5. Remember, what we want to do is multiply that scalar by both the x component and the y component to give us negative 4, comma, 10. What does that look like graphically? Well, here is my first vector v. I know that vector v says go left 2 and up 5. So if I put it in standard position, it's going to look like this. Here is vector v. And notice this was negative 2 and this was 5. So I knew that was a terminal point in quadrant 2. Take a look at what we did. We doubled it. So I doubled V. So here, this big long vector is 2V. And now we're saying go over a distance of negative 4 and up a distance of 10 to get to this point. Well, I love standard position because if the vector 2V is negative 4, 10, then I'm going to end up at the point negative 4, 10. Notice the difference. These are directions. They tell you go left 4 and up 10. This is an XY point. It's negative 4, 10. This is a point because I've got the curvy brackets. This is a vector because I have the crimped brackets. Find W minus V. Well, the math is easy. That's 3, 4 for W minus V was negative 2, 5. So I can think of this as adding the opposite. If I multiply this, this vector V by a scalar negative 1, I get 3, 4 plus 2, negative 5. So my resultant vector W minus V is going to be 3 plus 2, comma, 4, minus 5, or plus a negative 5, to give us 5, comma, negative 1. That is my resultant vector. So what does this look like geometrically? Well, I know W minus V, I just found out it's 5, negative 1. Here is vector W, let's put it in red, over 3, up 4. So here is vector W. Notice, I put it in standard position. And that point there is going to be 3, 4. And from this point, this becomes my new starting point. I'm going to go in the blue. I'm going to go to the right two and down five. So if I go right two and down five, then I'm going to be going in this direction. This is the opposite of vector V. And so my resultant vector, we'll call it this green vector here, is from the tail of the first to the head of the last, or initial point of your first vector to terminal point of your second vector, our resultant vector is W plus the opposite of V, or we can just say that's W minus V. Notice that the point we end up at is five negative one. Why is that? Because we started everything here at the origin, so we're in standard position. The vector, Resultant vector, v, sorry, W minus V is over 5 down 1, over 5 down 1. Well, if I go over 5 down 1 from the origin, I'm going to wind up at point 5, negative 1. I know this is a point because I have curvy brackets. I know this is a vector because I have those crimped brackets. Find V plus 2W. Oh, that's easy. This is negative 2, 5 plus 2 times 3, 4. All right, so I'm going to multiply that scalar by both W1 and W2, my X component and Y component. So this will result in negative 2, 5 plus 6, 8. Remember, vector addition is as simple as X component plus X component, comma, Y component plus Y component to give us 4, comma, 13. That is my resultant vector. So what's going on here geometrically? If I have vector V, which is negative 2, 5, I'm going to put that in standard position. I put its starting point or its initial point here, and I'm going to go left 2, up 5. There is my vector V. Notice what I did. I went left 2 and up 5. 
Now, I don't have to put that in my vector. I just was showing you. That's how I know that its terminal point is in quadrant two. Now, there's its terminal point. Remember, when we're adding vectors, the first vector's terminal point becomes the initial point for our second vector. And so from this point, my directions say, go right six and up eight. So if I go right six and up eight, notice what I'm doing here. I'm going to the right six and up eight. And that's why I reached that point there. Now, those are, that's just for instructional purposes only. That's really not part of my vector geometric graph. And the resultant vector, this green vector, is from tail of, tail of the first to head of the last, or initial point of our first vector to terminal point of our second vector. Or it doesn't have to be our second vector. We could add multiple vectors together, our last vector. So our resultant vector is V plus 2W. You can see, what does this 413 mean? It's the directions from the first point here to the last point there. So they're saying go over plus four and up 13. Well, if we go from zero to zero, that's why I love standard position. If I'm going right four and up 13, you guessed it, our final resting spot will be here at point 413. Ah, it's the same thing as the vector, but the vector has crimped brackets and the point, this is a point, the terminal point there has curvy brackets. That's how I know I'm talking about a point or a vector.